Kristen Smith is president of Solutions at LMI. It's great to see you. Thanks for joining me today. What's the, what are the things that agencies need to keep in mind as they integrate artificial intelligence into their operations? They want to balance ethics, responsibility, along with mission delivery. What's the right mix there? Yeah, th this is the question that every federal agency is asking itself right now. How do we move fast? without introducing new risk. You know, AI is such a powerful tool, but it can be a double-edged sword. And for all the efficiencies that it enables, it can also introduce vulnerabilities and blind spots when it's not carefully managed. So, you know, for, for agencies balancing innovation and accountability, that balance, I think, really comes down to data integrity and secure implementation. The data that AI is trained off of and runs off of has to be vetted, controlled, and protected. If you didn't trust or understand your data before AI got a hold of it, you're not going to trust or understand it any better as the basis of an AI-generated output. And by the way, those outputs have to be transparent and traceable so that a decision maker can understand how AI arrived at a conclusion in order to have confidence in acting upon it. I think we can't forget that the end goal is not product speed, it's mission speed. And when you have government operators that are hesitating to take a mission critical action or decision because they're not trusting the outputs of AI, that's a loss of mission speed, mm -hmm. and we, we can't lose sight of that. So when I think about a balance between accountability and innovation, really the agencies and the companies that are going to drive meaningful impact are those that understand that trust is not just an added feature, and by the way, it's not just a change management issue either. It's the whole foundation, and the companies that put that into AI design, put AI assurance from the start into the design of their products are going to be the ones advancing meaningful impact. And I think that's really where uh, LMI comes into play. We're helping agencies stand up secure, scalable AI environments so that they can move faster without compromising either privacy or mission. Because at the end of the day, speed only matters when it's trusted. You mentioned the importance of the data that AI uh, tools are trained on. Have agencies made a lot of progress through the data strategy or through whatever their own data strategies are in getting that data shaped in such a way, vetted in such a way that they can be confident in the way that they use it with their AI applications? I imagine the answer might be it depends. It depends. It does depend. But, you know, again, the, the fundamentals of good data integrity and good data hygiene haven't changed. And I think that our partnership with uh, Google Public Sector is just a great illustration of how we're marrying secure data and AI capabilities with mission understanding and secure deployment. Because at the end of the day, we wanna create environments where agencies are making better, faster decisions in data environments that are secure, connected, and protected. Mm -hmm. What are the cultural barriers that agencies run into when they're trying to implement these solutions? That is such a great observation and a great question. And it's one that really resonates with me about the alignment of technology, culture, and leadership. You know, we're, we're seeing in both the federal and commercial sectors that innovation really thrives when people feel supported, confident, uh, and part of the change, because that's really what transformation is at the end of the day. It's about how do we best facilitate rapid adaptation to change. Um, and so that means fostering that trust, that accountability and that confidence, making people feel a part of the change really means equipping the workforce with the training, with the guardrails and secure environments, and with the trust to use technology and data securely and effectively. Uh, this really hits home for me as an employee of LMI for the past 12 years because we've really lived our transformation. Some might know that the historic LMI was actually a not-for-profit agency uh, that was stood up to generate breakthrough innovation in defense logistics. And we've really stayed centered and committed to that purpose of generating breakthrough innovation for the federal government mission 
while investing in and evolving with industry advancements. Um, and as we've done that, we've, um, you know, we've really brought along a workforce that is now able to deploy their expertise in bigger and better ways through equipping the government with exquisite capabilities to accelerate their decision making. Kristen, it's great to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much.